Hi, this is Suze Eleven Tarot. Okay, so I'm doing a reading called. <laughs> this came up while I was uh, drinking my. Uh, this morning I'm drinking uh, chicory coffee, <laughs> New Orleans style. Okay. Mm. Okay, so this came up. Past love, new love, or all of the above. <laughs> okay, so we're going to um, explore that for singles. Let's see. Okay, now this is not a directive. This is just kind of insight on from an outside view, right? Okay, following your own gut here. Okay, now let's get an overall message here. On love. Overall message on love. Okay. Woo! New beginnings. Okay. Will and new beginnings assist with uh, this angel assists with difficult and great undertakings. Vahuya. Wow, okay. Wait, am I doing this right? Let's see. Can you see that? Sometimes I do readings and I get into it and I don't even... <laughs> the cards aren't even showing. I'm like, uh... <laughs> all right, so here we go. Okay, so... All right, so there's that. Okay, what are these? Okay, the Emperor. Okay, the Emperor. And what is this? Seven of Pentacles. What is that? Okay. All right, now for some of you uh, in love, okay, you wanted someone with um, status and at least has as much as you have in material, in the material world. Okay, now what I'm getting is some of you in pr pursuit of material gain, uh, Love went in the back burner. Okay, that's what I'm getting here with the Seven of Pentacles reversed. Okay, but they're showing me here. Okay, so this right here, okay, is flipping. So, now the other thing I'm getting with this is, okay, give people a chance who may not have a whole lot of money, okay, but are aspiring or have a lot of um, light and connection. Okay, so I'm getting, okay, so this is what I'm getting. Sometimes living outside your means can have you uh, just working and working and working and working and working and you're not really enjoying what it is you've been working for. Okay, now, it's like, enjoy it along the way. Work on enjoying it along the way. That's what I'm getting here, Emperor. If you are Emperor especially, that message is for you. Okay. This is a leader, CEO, those kind of uh, people. <laughs> it doesn't have to be, but it could be someone just in their power, fully in their power, but... Um, and it could be someone who's so giving to humanity, right? That uh, self care even goes in the back burner, and we we experienced that with the sea thing, right? That went all around the world, and that was like a wake up call. Okay, now so it's like use your discernment when you're. Um, choosing a partner okay now here's a lamp and that's in a hermit card so it's like make sure you take the time to connect with the non-physical energy anytime you're making any moves like this fool's energy new beginnings and love okay now that's what i'm getting here okay so so some people have um a distortion to power and money 
and that causes funk in the love life. Okay, so take a look at that if it rings a bell. All right, now, there's nothing wrong with money, and a lot of times people view money as evil. It's not evil. Material stuff is the value we give it. So people can uh, distort the value of money by doing weird things, right? Or strange things, or peculiar, maybe is a better word. <laughs> No judgment here. <laughs> okay, so um, anyway, and and sometimes a view of how staying focus on these kind of people who are distorting uh, the value of money in certain ways through uh, power struggles and stuff like that. That could bring a negative viewpoint on money. So if if you've had any kind of negative view on money, it's calling for you to make the improvement. Um, you know, especially also if you were raised around negative um, ideas around money, right? Money doesn't grow on trees and stuff like that. Take a look at that. Because that could subconsciously be affecting not just your money, but your love life. Okay, so I'm getting that. It's like finding, striking that nice balance, that chord. Okay, here is, okay, emperor could be someone in political authority. Okay, this energy cons uh, says protects against conspiracies. Mikael, okay, Archangel Michael. Okay, now. Okay, so for some of you, this is a lover who does have um, status. So, but what I'm getting here is don't negate someone who may not be in this em emperor status because there is a journey process. Okay, that's what I'm getting. All right, now what's the next card? Three of Swords. Raha. Okay, what is this? Hail. Okay. Love. Three of Swords. Okay, so see, that around money, okay, that's what, that could funk up. See, that could cause people to do uh, unhealthy things with money. And then that has can have a trickle effect like dominoes on the love life. So it's important to hear they're suggesting it to move in honor and integrity. So if you've had any kind of illness to this card, rehile. Okay, rehile. Okay. Okay, so this. Okay, so it's like you have the potential for full healing every day. Okay, but then when you're doing this kind of stuff for some someone, okay, with the money thing and uh, it's like unhealthy manipulation of money and power, okay, that causes pain on yourself. Okay, so the key is, here's paternal love. So if you've had family relationships that were affecting the love life, that's improving too here, okay? Yeah, okay, it feels good. Okay, so from uh, now where are we going here? Four cups holding on, right? Four cups healing capacity. Yeah, and that's every day. Every day you have that potential uh, to be born again, born anew. And then whatever, it, the day starts and then, <laughs> you know, so it takes practice to to hold that natural uh, state in your energy through the day all right now here is melahel healing capacity that's every day any moment too it doesn't have to be every day okay protection from weapons safety and travel melahel okay so so uh safety um, doesn't matter what kind of uh, security system you have, 
safety comes from that connection to the pure energy within. Okay, so it's important to ask for protection and also connect with that energy. So then that can keep you moving in divine timing and keep you safe. Okay, there's all kinds of things going on around the world. And um, yeah, so there's that. Okay, now what's this? Page of Cups. Okay. Okay, now that's what I was saying. Um, okay, so if you had a child where you had problems or I got uh, addiction problems and stuff like that uh, for a younger person, uh, that's improving here. They're wanting to, it, it, this change has to come from within. It can't be something forced or anything like that. It has to come from their own uh, desire to change and make the change and i see this here for someone okay so that's confirmation for someone if you weren't sure and weren't really trusting it but holding on to the idea of reforming this uh <clears throat> this is a son for somebody yeah okay and so there's improvement here and healing family dynamics also brings in a uh, better environment right and mind stuff too for uh love it creates that space for love okay so because if you're resisting any kind of thing from family that could interpret into the relationship that you have in other places. Okay. Now, sometimes the other party is not willing to change. And if that's the case, um, you know, you have to choose, uh, you know, what you want to do here. Sometimes you have to uh, leave and go to another town or country right okay so i don't know why this is coming up but like jesus right he left he left a uh, town to uh, go pursue what he needed to do and sometimes that happens and then uh, later on the family can come together things like that right but you have to follow that guidance within yeah and have courage Now, this card will bring victory to love here. That's what I'm getting. And um, this is deliverance from those who are trying to uh, do funky stuff. Okay, let's just put it like that. Hakamiya. All right, now, if you've been looking for a loyal, dedicated, devoted partner, here it is. It's available. Okay, it's available to you. And all that comes from the divine within. So connect with that energy. Okay, here is. Okay, so C provides knowledge, intellectual talent. La Cabelle. Okay, so. That's what I was talking about. It, you get the impulses from within. And see, this to me is like all the lives, the past lives, if you believe in that. Okay, if, it's, if you don't, then this is what you want. It. This is what you've written for this lifetime. Okay, and there can be expansion from what you created before you came here. Okay, so that is connecting with the energy inside of you so that your inner being so that you can move in an expansive abundant way and bam lovers joy and pleasure brings happiness to couples removes negative energy okay so yeah this is the lovers honey you Okay, this angel. Okay, so 
it doesn't really matter the name of the angels it's this all pure energy within that um, that is the all okay all right so here's the lovers all right and then the message here is That's interesting how this happened. We started with the fool, right? Fool, the new beginning in the lover's journey. Taking the first steps, two of wands, towards it. Okay, just choosing a direction and going in it. Focus. Woo! Okay, so Knight of Cups. Perception and revelation discovers hidden treasure, reveals secrets of nature. And I feel like that's what this one card represented, right? Um, a lamp, putting a light on the, the shadow of the past and moving in a loving way, taking the first steps towards love. And it could be a small offer, but actually doing it. Yeah. Five of Wands reverse, letting go of those battles, the resistance of the past. Yeah. Moving out of indecision. That's what I'm getting here. Moving out of indecision, right? Listening to the trumpet call within and moving in a direction. Two of Wands. Yeah. Yeah. And Ace of Wands. Okay, so this is like balancing out the physical with the spiritual. Okay, so it's like not letting the physical trump over the spiritual. That's what I'm getting here with that Ace of Wands. Yeah. Because in the past, Ace of Wands, Six of Swords reversed. Okay. Okay, in the past, some of you just did went for the physical, right? And then you had to walk away. Okay, now for some of you, that past person, there's a chance again. There's an opportunity to bring it back. Okay, and it's saying if you have to travel for love, do it. Here's reconciliation. It regains the favor of those uh, one has offended. Okay. Yeah. It, you know, take perseverance if you've been through this pain of the past, right? Universal medicine, elevation of the soul, and the revelation of the mysteries. Hahasia. Nine of Wands. This takes perseverance and dedication. Okay, and then to bring it out of the... Okay, now I'm picking up this Moon card as bringing it out of the cosmos, right? And birthing it bringing it out of the cosmos and into now this could be your uh, dream world and birthing it into this reality love union fruition provides expansive intelligence and gives the grace of God Leuia. okay so some of you did get the wedding rings uh, and a couple other readings I did okay what Okay, we're going to leave it right here, the sun. Okay, this is beautiful. And, and the light illuminates all that was hidden. This is restoration, protection. Uh, right, and this is where the ones that you thought were enemies and beasts becoming your friends, right, or disappearing completely into something new balanced and poised okay i'll leave that with you